okay. Bonjour. Bonsoir. C'est Flanagly une autre fois. And we are so excited to have this show this evening. It's also going to be live on Facebook Live. So tune in if you can. Um, and uh, so our esteemed guest this evening will be the esteemed international actor, Count Federico Vardan. Et voilà, je viens something. <laughs> uh, so thank you so much for this special Planet Glee. It's a, it's a while no, that I didn't come because I was also abroad, etc. And, um, and so the topic is your film, Fellini Mastorna, and uh, also my premiere in Rome about Pirandello, mm -hmm. uh, Nemo, on May 26 and 27 of May this month, and 28 too. The theater is a planet theater, Teatro Planet in Rome. Uh, that is by, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry, uh, this is Facebook, it's not television, <laughs> we are in television, huh? so I have to look to the camera, is by uh, the great Italian actress Caterina Costantini, my close friend, I will introduce her to you, I love that, and, um, and uh, she uh, uh, was co-protagonist with Paola Borboni, that you know, I that her. Uh, she spread the Pirandello, means uh, she uh, supported Pirandello too, no? And uh, so, I have to say the names of the, um, the artists that are with me mm -hmm. is a very short uh, list. <laughs> oh, yes. And uh, so, uh, the 26 and 27 will be name of Pirandello that you know very well because you saw this uh, in San Francisco Italian Culture Institute. And also, Planet Glee, when I was guest, uh, your guest, as uh, for name after the show in the Italian Culture Institute, Rotten Tomatoes gave to you 75%. That is a big, 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 you can imagine that Greta Garbo in, uh, with Eric of Kontroheim in uh, You Desire Me by Pirandello got 86 percent so you are very close <laughs> okay. we are you you no no you, you are oh, yeah, okay and so um uh, 26 27 of may with uh, uh, under the auspices uh, of El, il mandir della pace means il mandir of the peace uh, and uh, um, greco foundation and uh, Nobel um, uh, Academy, uh, Leonin Academy in Italiano is uh, uh, Nobile Academia Leonina, and also there is under the auspices of the region Lazio, Lazio is a region of Rome, oh, okay. is just uh, the news is from uh, today by uh, Dr. Gabriela Lavornia that she is the president of El, Man El Mandir della Pace with Sara Pastore, so will be the um, participation of a, a, a great artist and soprano, Sara Pastore, 26-27 of May. And she is the daughter of a legend, because she's the daughter of Aisha Nana, is, uh, uh, was, uh, she was my friend, uh, and uh, also uh, she uh, uh, was the dancer of the famous scandal in Rome at the time of before, little bit before uh, La Dolce Vita of Fellini. And so Fellini took this uh, scandal of Eschenana um, in the film uh, uh, The Sweet Life, La Dolce Vita. And so Sara also her father is uh, Sergio Pastore, is a big movie director also in Hollywood. And, uh, okay, and she make a, a film award, uh, Sergio Pastore, that last time, last, uh, yes, May 25, uh, 2022, uh, 
the winner of um, means was selected a, an Egyptian film that uh, wrote Tarek Sharar and I. So the 27, I finish now. 27, uh, before to finish 26, the poster is uh, by uh, uh, a legend because he's a, a famous art uh, uh, graphic designer, uh, mm -hmm. Armando Milani, famous for the Dove of Peace for United Nations. And the other poster of 28 is by a great painter, Patrizia Patti, and is dedicated to Pirandello and Franco Battiato, that Franco Battiato is, uh, um, is extremely popular in it, extremely popular in Italy, and not only in Italy, but also in, uh, in uh, Arab world, means in Iraq and in France, etc., etc., that just died. And uh, was, uh, so is uh, a, this um, cultural proposal, uh, Pirandello Battiato, with the great flautist uh, Andrea Ceccomori, that is, uh, is uh, making, uh, is in tournée uh, with uh, the show uh, Pirandi uh, sorry, Battiato um, Hidden. So I think uh, I didn't forget uh, anything, <laughs> and I think no, but we have time to, sorry for this introduction, because uh, really uh, I love my friend and that they, they gave a lot of effort to this uh, big uh, event in Rome. Well, it's very exciting, I think, and um, especially since it's a monologue that I have seen you do, do at the Italian Cultural Institute here in Sorry San Francisco. Sorry since I interrupt you. Of course I played in English in San Francisco yes. and was not the version of uh, for Greta Garbo. And so in Rome I will play a version of Greta Garbo that is more cinematographic of course, but it's not okay because it's a theater. Anyway, it's a joke. Sorry. And it'll be in Italian, so... It uh, <laughs> must be in Italian, yes. because the audience is Italian. Of course, I can have it, uh, an English audience, but now I have an Italian audience in Rome. Yes, and, um, you know, since the, the original script was, was written in Italian, it makes sense. Of course. And even though, you know, Pirandello has been translated in so many languages, and he's like uh, Beckett, and uh, we talked about before, Beckett and Ionesco, one of, uh, you know, the, the fathers of the, the, new, the new theater. Um, yes. Just like Fellini is part of the new cinema. Yes, are uh, super innovators, yes. Yes. For uh, theater, Pirandello, totally and uh, as an innovator of theater, Pirandello, totally. And Fellini is, uh, is Fellini, is an innovator by himself. Yes, uh, and um, since you will be performing in the Pirandello piece and you perform in Mastorna, uh, can you- That's why I am like that, because I appear in the film of Jennifer Glee, uh, in, in, uh, in the role of uh, um, uh, complicated role means uh, uh, mysterious role of, uh, of Mastorna and so my character is, uh, is uh, like that. I have to thank you, uh, I have to say thanks to Javan Gilles that is uh, assist us, is uh, our uh, best uh, of television, etc. And uh, sorry, uh, I'd like to speak about maybe uh, Mastorna Fellini, why Federico Fellini didn't finish the film, and why Pirandello, uh, Pirandello is before Fellini, uh, also uh, gave the monologue that I will play, uh, that I played here in San Francisco and that I will play in, uh, in Rome, uh, gave the monologue of Paola Massino Bontempelli in 1928 uh, um, uh, because uh, uh, Mrs. Paola Massino, the great, great writer, friend of Pirandello, uh, uh, she told me that Pirandello, the intention of Pirandello was to destroy the monologue. 
So this is, uh, you know, uh, so uh, mm -hmm. we spoke yesterday, you and me, about uh, when the invention go beyond the author or means when uh, something is created that you are not anymore the father or the mother, you know? Mm -hmm. You are not anymore your, uh, uh, the author, this is my opinion, is already public because these are for public, not for the author. So uh, uh, today also I spoke with uh, a great uh, um, expert of theatre, uh, Marco Beltrame, uh, because he make a research uh, deeply, uh, deeply about the theatre of Dario Bellezza that of course you know, mm -hmm. and uh, that was uh, linked with Pasolini, and we spoke about the archive, no? And so the matter is, uh, this Mastorna Fellini and Pirandell, um, Pirandello Nemo and uh, the giant of the mountain that he didn't finish. But uh, the intriguing uh, story is about the monologue Nemo because uh, after Greta Garbo was not able to play the monologue with the Eric von Zorheim, and they played another work of Pirandello, means as you desire me for the Metro Goldwyn Mayer. After the success of the film, um, uh, the Metro Goldwyn Mayer say no to produce uh, Nemo because the subject of Nemo could change the image of Greta Garbo, that uh, Greta Garbo want that because she afraid to become some uh, box office poison that unfortunately after two years she, she become that mm -hmm. and so and all the world know that after that uh, after some year uh, Greta Garbo decided to be not anymore on the screen. Sorry, I, I am means a lot of rock, <laughs> too much speech, okay, please. Uh, no, this is, this is very fascinating because I think you um, exposed me to that documentary about her. Um, there is a documentary about her where she's in Paris and she's talking about her life, her day-to-day -day life. That I, that's a very interesting film about her. Um, also, I discovered uh, recently that uh, John Crawford, that I, I, I was in touch with John Crawford uh, through Marlene Dietrich at the time of Fellini, uh, she made a, a documentary about Greta Garbo too. Oh. This is a little bit strange, you know, John Crawford that make a documentary about uh, the diva, the divine Greta Garbo, she other divine John Crawford, of course. So, and I saw recently, there is a, even in uh, YouTube. Well, you know, we, in this country, we know John Crawford as Mommy Dearest, you know. I mean, that's, we don't know a lot of her films. But the only anyway, one I've seen... uh, John Crawford was uh, a, a, is a super global star. I mean, he's an incredible. We are in California, of course, uh, so Hollywood is one hour from here, and uh, San Francisco has uh, its own life in cinema too, but of course Hollywood is so close that, uh, you know, also Marlene Dietrich uh, made, a film, made a film in San Francisco. So San Francisco and Hollywood means uh, are, could be related to. Of course, um, I, but I did see Joan Crawford and Mildred Pierce. And that, that one, um, that, I think that is a very, uh, it's in black and white, as we know, and it's, um, it portrays, you know, the American housewife in a way that's very, um, uh, dark. It's almost film noir, you know. Ah, yes. And um, she worked with Hitchcock too. I uh, don't know uh, who made Mildred Because Paris. she made uh, anyway. Uh, this now I don't remember because I know. Okay, but uh, anyway, uh, the matter also we spoke by telephone yesterday about uh, Frankenstein too, no? We did, and about Mary Shelley and how yes. she, you know she was a. a you know, a, a British woman, the wife of Percy Shelley, but they were friends with Lord Byron. So they were uh, in Lord Byron. They uh, were in uh, Switzerland uh. together and Lord Byron said, Oh, let's tell they it it was raining and raining and raining. 
So Lord Byron said, oh, well, let's tell German ghost stories. <laughs> let's just tell ghost stories. But, uh, and so Mary Shelley, you know, in t telling all these stories, she thought about, um, she says about the, someone coming back to life, like the, the, the doctor is the one who makes, you know, right. but his, the doctor's name is Frankenstein, not the, uh, what would we want to call doctor. it? The figure that we Not learned. the figure, the, exactly, he's the doctor, he's the Frankenstein. Right. So once again, it's, it's kind of like that whole notion that, The you creator know, is another, is the creator. The creator. By Frankenstein because the people make confusion always. It's not the creator, Frankenstein, but it's the doctor. So the doctor, in, uh, like in the case of Pirandello and Fellini, went beyond his uh, uh, invention, because we know the story of Frankenstein. So on a similar, we can make, in fact, we are making parallelism between Frankenstein, Fellini, and Pirandello. Yes, and I, I think, you know, we, we also talked about, and you, you mentioned this especially, that sometimes the, um, the author or the actor or the director or the musician, they become their work to the point where their, person, their personage, their, uh, their image is associated with what they've created such that they... They can't break away from it. Everybody thinks that that's who they are. Also, and this is a monologue name, oh, to, uh, because there is a super strong cue in, uh, about that in monologue name, oh, means uh, he said to the audience, uh, yes, you have uh, the mask, but the mask to believe. Okay? So, um, to believe, to believe, to see, you know? So, as uh, we spoke already yesterday, uh, it's important when somebody be, uh, is building uh, himself, herself, because almost all of you, uh, including maybe me, but I don't want to include uh, Jennifer Glee and, and I, okay? I include only you. So, when you build your, uh, yourself, uh, it's a mask, but you must be able to remove the mask to be authentic. So, authenticity and uh, fiction are in the human being, because we are able to, do, but we don't have to make confusion, and uh, often we make a confusion about that, and so this is not so good, because who are you? You are Jennifer Glee or the real Jennifer Glee? Who I am? The real Federico Vardal or the fake one? Oh, are you... To myself. The fortune teller in, in Mastona. Ah, yes. Because that's what I, who I see right now. Because that's, this is who you are in our film. Yes. Mastona. Yes. You're, a, you're not only a fortune teller reading Tarot, but you're also a spirit. You're not yes, your film, uh, as in the film of Fellini too, uh, uh, we are uh, spirit, though it's uh, the, the dimension uh, of the invisible. This no? is Giulietta di Spiriti. Giulietta degli Spiriti, yes, That's the one famous of my favorite film ones, yeah. of Giulietta Massina, that uh, was also the wife of Federico Fellini, mm -hmm. Giulietta degli Spiriti, you know, uh, Giulietta of the Spirits. And uh, so uh, this helps everybody to understand a lot of things because by this dimension we can understand a lot of uh, question mark that uh, maybe we will have uh, for uh, we will have forever because uh, you know we are uh, full of uh, you know uh, we are immersed in the universe we we are. Uh, we are, <laughs> we believe to be only on the earth, but we are in the universe, etc. Okay, please. Oh, of course. Um, I was thinking that um, in in our film in Mastorna, we um, we have uh, you know two characters, characters. Yes. 
But they're yeah, okay, yes. Yes, but they're really uh, they're they're caricatures of themselves. Also, also yes. that uh, the new of your film, I think that the camera, your camera, become a personage. This is a big uh, news for me because your film, in your film, because when you shot, you know, uh, me, uh, all, always when I, I deal with a camera, for me it's another person, it's another entity, you know, but mm -hmm. especially in your film, really was alive your camera your camera in, in fact uh, really is a special film that now is in editing and then mm -hmm. will be presented in uh, international film festival etc but it's a super special because jennifer because there is a super 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 special film and uh, i don't want to spend me more about the film because of course uh, i uh, you must be surprised when you will watch the film of Jennifer Glee. She's a great artist, really. Eh? Well, really. working with a great artist was made it a lot easier. And, no, um, maybe it's more complicated. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, for me, I got to see you, you know, perform and, and to uh, interpret the role. And, um, but, you know, it is true that I, in the film, the camera's always moving. It's moving, moving, moving. It's not, it's not, um, it's weird because the, the two characters are seated at a table. You don't see them running around, but it's the camera that's moving in between we them and around Anthony them. Anthony. Yes, you know, the, young actor, the young actor. The young actor. Yes. He, he is um, also present. So, but he's mute, so that... Uh, yes, he's mute and there is some big surprise in the script, uh, etc. So, it's, a, it's very difficult uh, to be a mute character um, because, you know, the intensity of the, the eyes, also the camera, yes. that can... Because the character must uh, talk by the the camera and the body language, etc., etc., is very difficult. You have to be in the character because, you know, I think he was feeling the character because I, you know, he can't talk, but he is feeling the character. And um, so for the camera, for me, if I'm going like in front of him and, you know, panning around his face, He's got to be able to stay in that character, and you can really see it in his eyes, very soulful eyes, and I think it'll be very, uh, and hopefully the music as well will be very minimal, and um, so it will be definitely um, uh, a new film out there. Hopefully. Of course, hopefully. but also, you know, Eric von Stroheim in the role of the director is a silent character in Nemo, uh, it was, uh, the, you know, uh, Eric Ostroheim is uh, uh, one of the best actors ever in uh, the movies, you know. So it's very, very difficult. Of course, Greta Garbo was the protagonist because it uh, doesn't have gender in English, I think, the character. Yes. You know, could be a man or the woman. He's uh, some creature, he's uh, beyond this. So, but uh, Eric Ostroheim uh, means that uh, was... Uh, in the script, uh, after Pirandello re rewrote the monologue, uh, was uh, of course a silent, a silent character because this is a monologue, so it's one. You know, but always the protagonist of Nemo uh, is speaking with the director of an imaginary uh, TV studio when the television was just an idea almost, was just invented, but nobody knew television. And this is uh, uh, the matter. So Javan uh, kindly told uh, us that is five minutes. Five minutes. So we have time, fortunately. <laughs> we no, need to no show five this. Five seconds. This is Pirandello. Is, uh, uh, did he give me the um, grandson of Pirandello, Pierluigi Pirandello, this uh, magazine? I love this. And it's full of uh, uh, Marlene Dietrich because was connected. Here is Marlene Dietrich, you know. Sorry, the camera is this is not Facebook. Uh, Marlene <laughs> Dietrich, 
and that was close friend of Greta Garbo, mm -hmm. and uh, Marta Abba, that was the muse of Pirandello, and uh, this is Marta Abba, exactly, this is Marta Abba, and uh, so it's a very important magazine because uh, Gave, this is a, a film of uh, Pirandello that I think made in Hollywood too, not only with Greta Garbo, but is uh, uh, another film because I'm uh, sure he loves films. Uh, that, that is uh, the best of the, it means the masterpiece of theater, but okay, so this uh, magazine, this is Marta, but too, uh, but of oh, that's course. Nice. Yes, mm -hmm. very nice, and uh, um, and other picture, of course, Nobel Prize, the ceremony, uh, ceremony of uh, Nobel Prize of Pirandello, I think is this, uh, Premio Nobel, Nobel Prize, Pirandello, so the camera is over there, and... Uh, I have a question for you, Federico, just to, to bring back to Fellini. What was Fellini's uh, cameraman's name? Rotunno was Rotunno, and so I remember Fellini when we shot Casanova of Federico Fellini, that uh, the behavior of, behavior of Fellini close to uh, Rotunno, uh, the cameraman, so always Fellini gave suggestions to Rotunno, that uh, Rotunno was uh, his cameraman, yeah. eh? so they know, means they know from, each other. Yeah, yeah, very well, but also that Fellini always was close to Rotunno to give suggestions to, to Rotunno, and uh, so as he, at the moment, all the world know that he changed some uh, frame, uh, or uh, he also told me, Federico, you little bit, you have to be more uh, uh, maybe ambiguous because I make the the Casanova adolescent, and of course Casanova have uh, had also ambiguity or other kind of uh, uh, you know aspect, etc. So always. Uh, and also, during the shooting of uh, Casanova, he, um, he uh, had, I remember, uh, several times, almost, some uh, discussion with some actor, actress, and he liked that because maybe he gave to him uh, to, to, to talk uh, some energy because, of course, uh, he always uh, was uh, when uh, during the shoot he was in uh, of course in creative mode uh, this yeah. is uh, as you uh, because i remember you that uh, always you said no this uh, i like better this uh, maybe i have this idea and you like dialogue too because we 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 went uh, we means we was in dialogue uh, yes uh, change our idea last uh, Two minutes, okay? Also, we should let the, the audience know that what we've got behind us uh, oh, is, yes. a, um, is a, a picture of the, uh, out, the marquee at the Ruby Theater, which was, is in Hollywood, and uh, Federico performed there uh, another monologue, different monologue. Another monologue, yes. Now the Facebook audience can see the marquee yes. in Hollywood. And I performed during uh, my film uh, that was called uh, Day with Fellini. I don't remember even the title of my film. And I, I came from the screen to perform something and then I disappeared physically and was, uh, and Jennifer was with me and she uh, made a great presentation for the anniversary the 100th anniversary of the birth of Federico Fellini on January 20th, 2020, yes. a little bit before COVID. So now we have to forget for COVID, fortunately, but fortunately it was the last performance physically because then there was COVID, etc. Well, now you have a new one coming up in Rome for, for Pirandello. So. Uh, yes, uh, so uh, perfect. The Pirandello, so a lot of um, hugs to everybody.
thank you to follow us to which uh, uh, which us okay thank you